the Conversation Arena, the Festival of Dreams. Sharina, welcome to the show. Welcome to you as well. Oh, Looking look, pretty hot in those shoes. Thank you. Straight into radio mode. 15 <laughs> years on radio to you and uh, networks around Australia. Yes, yes. What is it about what you do that people like? The fun, uh, the information, and also probably they, they're finding some answers and learning a little bit. You're looking very Donna Summer today with this outfit. You yes. love disco music, your radio yes. shows reflect it. Yes. How did you get into it all, Sharina, though? I was actually, I had a modelling agency in yep. Sydney. Yeah. And I was doing some fashion by the stars, yeah. and I got picked in a shopping centre to go on Stan Simonic show, and everyone said to me, wow, you'll get five minutes on air. So I go in there, and I was on, I was doing his face reading, his palm reading, is this, because I went in, put yeah. a gold turban on my head, yeah. fun, you know, and I ran into Ken Sparks talking about <laughs> yeah, that yeah. on the way in. Yeah. And you know what ends up happening? Yeah. He left me on for three hours, he loved it, and he was my biggest fan ever since, and I, I read for him for the rest of his life, and he ended up being my major one client, and I then all, all the rest of mine did Beauty and the Beast with yeah, him, yeah, yeah. lots of TV. What is yeah. it about, uh, you know, what you did in your early career, in the modelling agency, yes, yes. how did you bring that across into this world of media, because there must be a crossover with yes. the skills you've learned. Mum always used to dabble, yeah. okay, with the tarot, with the yeah. French background and yes. everything, and, and she all, this all of Paris. us girls. It is, so. it is Paris. I thought so. Yes, I could tell. And the shoes. Kmart. I can tell that. You can get a shot of the shoes. Uh, oh, yeah, those shoes, yeah. I got them in Paris. But I, I'd like to say this, though. What, what actually is quite interesting is, or, I read the tarot mm -hmm. from a young age as well. Mm -hmm. That's all, not not professional, just with the girls. And with the models and everything, it Was every, every I seemed to always be at the right place at the right time. Yeah. And I was always reading the tarots. I mean, do you know I had an experience when I was a very young child, I was abducted. Really? Yes. I was abducted as a young child. It's in my book. I didn't want to say too much. No, it's no, no. Quite a traumatic experience. Sure. Left for dead, and he murdered three girls. Oh my God. And I know, I know. And I saw what I call like a, a electricity. Yeah. It was like a light in a corner when I had I had no hope. You know, yeah. this light in this this, and it looked like I would. I thought it was God being ten, but it might have been like an angel. I, yeah, I, somebody I never watching forgot over that. you. And I never forgot that there's a heaven, and I believe that we've all got the ability to actually really change our own destiny, not so what a psychic says or whatever. I'm into the positive thoughts, mm. creep yours positive, and take on board what someone tells you or just don't do anything about it. Mm. But um, we've all got choices. But that's probably, if you're thinking about what started, mm. and the modelling agency, all the girls wanting the readings, and then the shopping centre said, can you do a psychic fair? And I started doing that, <laughs> and I ended up the job on Stan Simonic. I've never worked in radio in my life. And, they're flying me to Brisbane and all over the, over Australia and people are going, Trina! Yeah. <laughs> and, and what have you learnt about the audience of the radio world? Because your radio connection, you don't see them, yes. but you hear them. So what, what have you learnt about that audience? I have got the most amazing audience because I do a club shows. Mm. I've been doing the club shows for probably, well I was doing it with Stan Simonic as well. Like we do cruises together and, and uh, I think I've got a lot of loyal fans that remember me doing the stars with Stan when I told him he was shifty. Mm. You know, I said, oh, you're shifty, oh, Stan, and, and they were calling, everyone was calling him shifty and we were having really a lot of fun. And I think I learned a lot the way his style was and I put a, you know, a bit of that style myself. And I, I, my show is very much, everyone says, it's just like they're having a glass of champagne at the pub with Sharina. Yeah. Casual. Yeah. I've got the young at heart. Yes. I've got the real, the oldies yes. that are the young at heart. Yes. And the young girls, you know, that, that are growing up now, mm -hmm. because some of mine are dying off and, and, <laughs> and I'm growing a new audience. Yeah. So, and over the years you've been able to counsel, I would say, and in a way be a, a, a great mentor yes. Yes. to people at their most, well, sometimes disadvantaged um, hour. Exactly, I've picked lots of lottery winners, yeah. recently a $450,000 mm -hmm. win, and everyone's blown away, but I said, no, I'm not blown away about by these things. No. Numerology, I believe, is 100% accuracy, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you know what, you, you know, what I've yes. learnt, really from doing people, you know, yeah. on that, and uh, I think really the vibes, just get the vibes, tarot is just like a, mm -hmm. you know, but um, I'd like So the, when you're reading on radio, do you use the tarot yourself? Yes, yeah. the tarot and numerology, because yeah. you need to hear it, and, but a lot of the times you can pick up on a voice yeah. as well. In club shows, a face reading like you, Yes. you have got the ability with your eyebrows yes. to actually finish what you start, even though you're chaotic. <laughs> Andrew, am I chaotic? Oh, my cameraman, my cousin's saying yes. Chaotic in the fact that I did too many things. 
chaotic as eggs in too many baskets at yeah, once, but, you, but some people don't finish because they're this and they're, and that's only if you burn out easy. Yeah. So every now and then you need to sort of stop when you, you know, you're burning out mm. and throw, your, or throw yourself into exercise. See, at the moment, yes. I've got so much going on with this five pinnacle that yeah. I'm drinking champagne every day. <laughs> <laughs> champagne and carrot diet. <laughs> <laughs> and still Walking doing on the reading. beach, yeah. and doing readings, and and, and I'm, I'm totally exhausted. So yeah. I know, I throw myself into a personal trainer. Yeah. At five thirty on a Friday because yeah. it was twice a week, but you know I like to sleep in mm -hmm. a little bit now. But I think you need to sort of have mm -hmm. that yourself. Mm -hmm. Not that you ask me. It's supposed to be about me. No, no, no. I think it's very interesting. Well, actually, yes. I've just started Pilates, so there you there go. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Well, that will, that just something. Yes. To ground me. Yeah, exactly, to mm. ground you. There's a lot in the face. I mean, the, the so eyes is. are the windows to soul, the That's voice right. is the signature. That's right. Voices, what do you pick up on people's voices? What What is a giveaway? Well, with I, I think, I, I, I sort of feel like it's like a knowing. It's like when a person talks, I get a sense of a person. That's why it's very important what you name a person, because, for instance, if you think about a girl that's called uh, Malika, mm. and she goes for a job, but you get, you know, as a belly dancer, mm. straight away you're going to think of, of mm -hmm. really, you know, big mm. boobs mm -hmm. and, and all that. You get that vibe, Malika. Yeah, yeah. I'm just using yeah, that Yeah, name. yeah, yeah, yeah. And she turns, but if she turns up and she's a real skinny blonde, you're very disappointed. Yeah. Because she doesn't live up to the name. Not that she, she no, might be no, gorgeous, no, no, no. But, but you're expecting a belly dancer to be curvy and, and all that. It's just a, mm. a thing with a name. So sometimes you're thrown by names. So the voice comes into it. You can hear a voice and if the voice is actually a tremble in the voice or a lot of the times they're shy to come yeah. on radio because they're, yeah. they're you know I know they've never done it well I've had people one lady the other week and I shouldn't really say this on mm. TV but I will mm -hmm. <laughs> that she went up and said I just want to know do you see me murdering my husband <gasps> and everyone goes this is good radio oh and yeah, I thought, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you know you know what it's like yeah. and I'm going oh my god you know like and I'm going okay let's talk about that over off air <laughs> Because, I mean, we all might say that as a joke, but she was very serious and she was a, very much a stalker, this woman, at all the club shows and she kept asking me and things like that. So that was probably a freaky experience yeah, there yeah. on that. But I did pick it up in her voice that she was a, 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 little sh a, a, a sandwich short of a, a picnic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or not the sharpest tool in the shed. That's right. So well, you've got to be very careful. I know you're very, very busy. We could talk <laughs> for hours. We could be doing our own TV show. But reality show. Yes. Reality, yes. yes. Now, you're doing television down the track, so that's something in the pipeline. I've been doing television already. Mm. I had a regular spot on with uh, Kerry, uh, Sonia for that went for about nine weeks every week. Mm. Beauty and the Beast, Sunrise, mm. all those. But I've got a television show that's uh, a, a little. We're keeping this. You'll, you'll know about it within the next month. Good. So I don't want to sort of jinx no, no, it no. out there. Fantastic. Well, thanks for coming on the conversation, Arena. Well, I've had a really a lot of fun. I have too. Hello, everyone out. Thanks for joining us at the Festival of Dreams. Mm.